Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of composing in pentatonic parallel, part 17, 3, 4, 4, 3. In today's episode, our goals were to try a composition in the 3, 4, 4, 3 pentatonic parallel scale, which is the scale highlighted here. It has five notes minor, five notes major, and eight notes combined with consonances of 1.3 and 1.8. And this is one of the scales we've been working with in the overall stream. For this session, we wanted to stay within these three scales only. The results, we have created two scores. The first one is cadences and lines. And to do this, we selected chords from over here, our tonality reference area. For example, uh, we picked cadences we liked in the minor scale. Here's two of them. So here they are over here. And then we added a backbone note so they could begin to pick out a melody in the back of our mind. So these are the uh, cadences and lines, six lines that we've picked out so far. So we have a little bit of a story, energy story in there. We have a little bit of a sense of a completion. And we spent a lot of time identifying each of these cadences and their energies. And just a reminder, there are 14 chords in the full tonality, and the majority of those chords are ambivalent. So we're going to get a lot of that root mode versus urge energy. So the second thing we did is we said, OK, well, let's just as we as we listen to this over and over and we listen to the cadences then we listen to the backbones we created a melodies sheet that looks like this and to do this we simply went back and in our head we were hearing hearing these different notes on the second line here and we just picked out what to us sounded like a good melody and then we have arranged this melody and we've identified where the melody comes from the full scale the major scale uh, in the minor scale. And this is what we have so far. So that last line we're keeping because it's the it has a major minor feel in it and we feel like it's going to go in there somewhere. So that concludes today's stream. Um, our ideas for next steps are to begin to merge those cadences and melodies together and look at elaborating the backbones. The backbones by definition are notes that come in the cadences. We can certainly put extra notes between the backbone notes that are not in the cadences. That fills out the melody, makes it a little more smoother. Um, we're still thinking about how we structure these things. Um, 
the melody we had four bar lines and the cadences are six bar lines and all that and also exploring lyrics uh, existing things that we've written or new things we might write to fit this so that concludes today's stream thank you for your time and attention and we look forward to seeing you next time and as always keep on streaming